I really, listen, I really do look at your emails. I really do. Um, it's just sometimes there's just so many of them. Uh, my daughter prints a lot of them out, and that way I can focus more on them and pay more attention to them. And if it's something I like, I'll put it in my little tray there and keep it for an, a future thing or whatever. So I appreciate what you're doing and keep sending. Anyway, take a look at this. The Wave Church, okay? How'd you like that? I never, I never could do that very well. Uh, that's the Wave Church. Now remember, we talked about that, and we talked about that several times. That's something that God is showing me about the waves of ungodliness, the Aquarian symbol. We talked last weekend about the the Aqua Church, the Aquarian Church, and here is a church following in that paradigm called the Wave Church. But uh, I want to see if you can catch this now. Take a look at their, their their logo here. What do you see? What do you see? Come on, okay. As above, so below. It's right there in front of you. Okay? Gotta love it. And oh, by the way, I'm, I'm pleased to announce I got my invitation to speak with Ed Young at the C3 conference. Rise of the Iguana. Not really. I didn't. I didn't know. Uh, they wouldn't have me with a 10-foot pole. Um, notice the symbolisms here. C, the letter C is a number three. So when you have C and 3 together, what do you have? You have 33. But you also, take a look at the C3 here. You have the infinity symbol, which is the symbol for immortality. It's also a symbol of the number 8. The beast is of the 7. He is the 8th and he is of the 7 and, and, and rises out of the pit and goes into perdition. But this whole iguana thing, I mean, okay, an iguana is like a little bitty dragon. Rise of the iguana. And if you know anything about Ed Young and some of these other guys, you'll get it. Because I'm telling you, these guys are, are going to help unlock the dragon. I promise you, they are. Hope you've enjoyed it this week. Uh, we got our books. Several of you have ordered them. I appreciate that. Uh, the Two Babylons, wonderful book. I did not write it. Uh, By Divine Order and the King James Code, I did write them. And I hope you enjoy them. They're just good. good uh, if you just want... Uh, uh, some good meat on Bible numerics and things like that. I encourage you to get a copy of these books. We're, as long with, along with everything else, we're not selling them out of our ministry. Uh, if you write to us and say, Pastor Mike, I'd like a copy of those books, we'll get them to you. Um, we, it does cost more to make these, and it does uh, a, a video, so please uh, remember us uh, in your giving. I do appreciate that. We, we're still trying to maintain... Um, our principles here that God has freely given us, and so we're going to just give what we can. Our watchers' packets are going to go out probably, uh, let's see, not next week, but probably week after that. And um, we've got like, I don't know, 220 people on our watchers list now. Starting out a year ago, a year ago, we started this thing out with 20 people, and it's increased 200. And we thank God for that. Um, we still have not made any demands from anybody saying, well, we want so much a month and we want this and it's not a subscription. It's just a list. We're just giving them away. There are some people who give um, uh, more. There are some people who give less. Some people who don't give at all. And um, we, want you to, we want you to pray about that and ask God, you know, God, Pastor Mike sends me all this stuff. Uh, can I do anything for their ministry? I'm not getting your money, people. I, I promise you, and those of you who have met me and have, have broke bread with me, uh, I, you know, uh, we had a family come in and visit us, okay? Uh, they wanted to take me out to lunch. I let them pay, okay? I mean, that's, that's me. Um, I, I just live a simple life and trying to do the will of God here. And if you can help us out, I would appreciate it. But if not, we're still going to serve the Lord and do what God told us to do. Anyway, I love you. God bless you. Uh, you can help us out by praying for us. I'm going to be in the, in the hot seat next month down in Van Buren, Arkansas at the Vista Free Will Baptist Church, uh, May the 14th, 15th, 16th. That's over a weekend, so we'll have one of our guys filling in here at our at Bethel Church. But I want you to pray about this meeting. And if you're in the Arkansas area and you'd like to come to that, uh, get a hold of us or get a hold of the Vista Free Will Baptist Church. and they'll show. But I want to tell you, we're going to be dealing with some deep things that are linked with the denomination. And um, well, I'll tell you what, we need God on our side is what we need. Or we need to be on God's side is what we need. So pray for us anyway. Uh, uh, but anyway, keep uh, keep supporting us. Keep praying for us. Um, keep sending emails if you like. Sending I've had people send me books. I appreciate that. Um, you know, just just keep us in your prayers. An email saying, Pastor Mike, thank you for what you're doing. I share those with our people here, so that they can know that you know there's somebody out there that cares what goes on inside of our one little church. I love you. God bless you. I'm praying for you and appreciate you praying for me. Bye bye.